Hi, in this demo, I would like to show how you can use Commerce Tools Postman Collection so that we can make some requests from Postman Collection itself. What we need, uh, we need two things uh, in order to use Postman. Uh, we need a Postman Collection JSON for Commerce Tools API, and we also need OAuth client or environment information so that we connect to right region and we use the right credentials. So let's get started. And for this today's demo, I'm not going to use the desktop Postman desktop app. Instead, I'm going to use the web application. Currently, I have a workspace demo of Commerce Tools, and I have no collections here. Now I'm going to import the collection. For this, I'm going to use a link. And here you can see Commerce Tools Postman collection GitHub repository. And I have to import in order to use um, Postman client, I have to use collection JSON and template JSON. I already have a links for them. So let me try to import it to my Postman collection. And let's see. Okay, import. Collection commerce tools imported. And one more time, I have to import the template. I'm going to copy this template. Import it, continue. Post my moment, in moment, import it. Okay. I have to reload it again to see if my commerce tools collection is listed. Let me see it's listed. I'm gonna select some environment. Yeah, now it's see you can see here the commerce tools collections uh, is here we have only the first part now we need to get the environment um, I'm on merchant center I'm on merchant center I can go and create a new let me try to delete this Okay, I'm on Merchant Center uh, and the developer settings. I can go to create new API client. Let me create um, a new demo Postman API client. Or I can say API admin client. I'm going to use admin for demonstration so I can get and create a, this API client. Anyways, I'm going to remove this uh, API client after the demo. And you can see here, I'm selecting the Postman. I'm going to download this environment and save it. And I'm going to get this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it. I'm going to import a file it's a import as an environment and now I should be able to see environment you see here annual training so you should be able to see this and you can also see here I have this uh, the things I imported now from my button center and it's here okay let's see it in action what's happening so I'm gonna obtain a token now Okay, I get an access token. Now I can make a request. This is my project. And let's check the products. And let's query a product. Get all products. Okay, limit. Uh, there are a total of six products. And I want to know this product information. This product information. Uh, so let's go to get product by ID so you see here there's already a value what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a different value to demonstrate you how it works um, let's use the second product not the first one so I'm gonna use this first product 
and get product by ID. And currently the product by ID is coming from the reference. This current one is F by E1 following by that. Let me try to change that. Ah, I can do an edit. I'm going to see a product ID and I can edit this. I'm going to add the second product value. Uh, I'm going to save this. And now if I see here, now you see a different product. So now if I query that particular product by product ID, let's see what information I get. So I get product type, cartel R, transformation, cartel R1, master variant. So I can also check it out here in the product list. Uh, um see if i have any so as you can see i have only the six products and without looking at them you see here the product id is same as this here and this is what the information that we are getting so cutler cutler product name yeah i hope uh this demo gives you some idea about how you can use uh Commerce Tools, API, Postman Collections uh, to make a query and to understand what's happening uh, to play around with the Commerce uh, Tools APIs. Thank you.